Hello everybody, I'm Kevin. I'm with Bohemia Interactive Simulations. Today we're going to talk about using VBS4 for land navigation training. More specifically, using the virtual environment to support land navigation training. I'm currently in the editor. We've already talked about how to use the editor, the tools, the tips, and the tricks uh, on how to use the system. So we're going to jump straight into it. First thing we want to do is talk about the tools slash scenario settings page. This allows me as a scenario instructor to tweak different weather parameters. So whether it's overcast or not, if it's foggy, if it's raining or snowing, uh, but most importantly, I can change the date and time. Uh, this date and time is used to factor in uh, the day night cycle. So if it's the middle of uh, summer, you have longer days, shorter nights, uh, but in the middle of winter, you'll have longer nights, shorter days. Uh, this is also factored into the uh, latitude of the where you're taking place in the world. So if you're up north or further away from the equator, you'll have uh, longer nights as well. Um, then the other thing I want to talk about is the atmospheric parameters uh, tab. This allows you to set the temperature and barometric pressure of the scenario. Not all VBS4 systems use this, but it's important to know that this data exists to be queried by external simulations. I'm going to preview the scenario. We're going to talk about using the virtual environment to uh, aid in navigation. I'm currently controlling my avatar. Uh, this is has been described in other videos. Uh, the thing I want to talk about now is the tools that the trainee has to figure out where they are in the world. First thing is a simple watch. By, I can pull this up by pressing the T key. Second is a compass. Uh, I can open that by pressing the G key. And then third is a mock uh, GPS system. I can open that up by pressing the K key. Each one has different uses. Uh, for right now, we'll stick to mostly the watch. So you can see right now, we know it's high noon. The shadow is pretty low on the ground. Uh, I've got some scripts that allow me to kind of showcase a little bit more. Uh, so I'm going to advance time in 30 minute increments. And you'll see the shadow starts to get longer as the sun gets closer to the horizon. And we can see the sun begin to set. Um, and if I pull up the compass, I can confirm the sun does in fact rise in the east and set in the west. So now let's uh, wait for nighttime to start coming up. My eyes need to adjust to the sudden disappearance of the sun. So now uh, we can start to see the star map. These stars, uh, as I mentioned before, are um, taken into consideration based on the latitude in the world. So I'm going to start advancing time. We can see the moon over there. And I am going to attempt to find the North Star via the Big Dipper. So I found the Big Dipper over here. I'm hovering over with my cursor, and I can follow that to the North Star. And to confirm that, I'm going to advance time, and we should see the stars rotate around that North Star. So there it is right there. And then if I pull up my compass again, I can confirm that we are, in fact, looking at the, we're facing north towards the North Star. That's just a very quick demonstration. So I'm speeding up time again. You can see the sun is starting to come out and we get a nice little sunrise at the end of this video. So thank you very much for uh, this, allowing me to demonstrate this to you. Hopefully you guys learned something about VBS4 and the products. Uh, if you guys have any questions about how this tool set can be used, please do not hesitate to reach out to us on our website. Uh, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Thank you.